hope it's here. How are you today? Well, today is Tuesday, the 28th of July. Welcome back. I Welcome back. I hope you are okay. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed yeah, your um, holidays. So this is the second part of the year and I would like that you have more energy or and that you continue working with uh, responsibility yes and energy yes okay well today uh, we're going to check pages 54 and 55 from the exam maximizer remember you have to hand in composition number one and number 16 from the list from the quadernillo you have to hand in another writing that is uh, the exercise 5 from page 53 from the exam maximizer and we're going to check pages 17, 18, 19, 23, 24, 25, 26, 33, 34, 67 and 90 from the quadernillo. We're going to go then to unit 9, pages um, 93, 94 and 95 from the class book, okay? And as homework, you're going to write composition number 18 from the quadernillo, yes, 18. Remember, the list is at the beginning of the quadernillo, yes, okay? And it's composition 18, 18, 18, 18, yes? That is an article between 120 and 180 words. Your school magazine has asked students to give their opinion on whether cell phones should be used in the class, classroom. Okay, so remember this is an article uh, at the end of the book. Suppose you don't know, you don't know, no, you don't remember how to write, how to write an article. So you will go back to the book, you will go to the writing reference, that is at the back of the book, yes, and you will go to page 166 and you will revise the structure, yes, of uh, an article, yes. The title can be uh, a question, can be a sentence, then the organization of the paragraph, yes, okay. You can use informal style, yes. You can finish with an interesting ending, yes, that make your opinion clear. Here in the article, you don't give recommendation. It's not the same as a report. Is it clear? So, um, you can use informal linkers, yes. Um, when you start your sentences, when you start the paragraph, you must encourage the reader to continue reading your paragraph. Is it clear? So, your article. So, if you don't remember, if you have a mixture there in your brain, it's better that you go to the writing reference, read again the structure of an article, and then organize your brainstorming, and then write it. Is it clear? So, shall we go to, first of all, we are going to check the um, pages from the exam maximizer. And then we are going to go to the, um, to the pages from the quadernillo. Okay, is it clear? So, shall we go to page 54? Page 54. Are you ready? This part is a bit boring, yes, because we need to correct. It's very important that you correct all, all, all the, the quadernillo, because and the exam maximizer, of course, but uh, I'm very uh, interested in the, in the exercises from the quadernillo, because there you have the possibility to revise all the grammar that um, we have been doing, yes, from March to July, up to here. Is it clear? So it is very important that you do, yes, the exercises from the quadernillo consciously. Is it clear? Well, um, I'm checking the pages. Yes, all right. 
54, exercise 1. Um, are you ready? Good. Monitor, keyboards, software, avatar, password, passwords attached. Number 2. Save, lose. Click, bring. Scroll, for, long, entering. Find, download, print. And see, six crashes. If your compu computer crashes, you can sometimes recover data, data from the hard drive. Yes, okay. Crashes. My computer crashed. Yes, okay. It means that uh, it stopped working. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Yes or no? Right. All right. Well, well, well. Well, I mean, has it ever happened that your computer, uh, your computer crashed? Yes, and you lost most of all your uh, data? Yes, it is horrible. Well, okay, let's go to page 50, um, 55. Yes, all right. But the, re the, part, the rest of the uh, part, the ground. Number one, there's no way we will be living. Yes, future, future perfect. Yes, and future perfect continues. Number two, I'm so pleased John will have made, future perfect continues, will have made dinner by the time I get home. Yes, okay. He said it will be on the table waiting so I won't have to cook. Number three, at this time tomorrow I will be swimming in the hotel pool. Oh my God. It's, it, will, it will be great. Yes. By this time tomorrow, I will be recording classes. Yes, okay, remember I'm recording the classes in the morning and in the afternoon, yes? It's uh, a lot of job, work, yes? Number four, I'm going to make sure my son will have learned the alphabet by the time he goes to school, he will know all the letters. How did you, how did it go on the holidays? What activities could you do? Yes, did you watch uh, TV? Did you see films uh, Netflix, on Netflix? Yes, on HBO? Yes, okay. What, what did you do? Yes, there were two weeks of very beautiful days. Yes, okay. Well, I hope I'm so much debt. I'm in so much debt, I will be paying it off till I'm 60. Six, I hope we all be using renewable energy regularly by the time our natural resources run out. David will be going to the tennis club when he finishes his homework. Number eight, the council will have spent its entire budget by the end of summer. They will have nothing left. Number two, what do you think you will be doing this time next year? Well, by then I will have finished my final exams, so I think I will be celebrating. I will be enjoying my holidays and I will be sunbathing on a beach somewhere hot. What about you, Rob? Well, I've just finished my own studies, so I hope by next June I will have found a, de a decent job. If I'm lucky, I will be earning lots of money and I will have bought myself a car. Gina, finger cross then. Okay, speaking, one, call, two, exact, three, remember, four, think, and five, gone. Yes, okay? But that was all as, regard, uh, as regards uh, the activity book. Shall we go to um, the 
pages, okay? Page 17, 18, 19. 17, 18, 19 first, yes, okay? Good, good, good. a minute. Machu Picchu, yes, okay, 1F, 2A, 3D, 4B, 5C, 6E, page 18, another reading, play, go, I'm not going, think, wait, lives, speaks, is staying, is working, I'm learning, I'm trying, speak. Future forms, el de abajo, future forms, okay? Number one, will, number two, will, number three, present continuous as future, number four, present continuous as future, number five, present con um, going to, <clears throat> yes, okay, uh, wait, I, I will check again, number one, will, number two, will, number two, present simple as future, number four, going to, yes, that is okay, number five, going to, number Six will and number seven present continuous as future. Yes, is it clear? Let's go to uh, 19. I'm having two is going to go, three is going to snow, uh, four will rise, five will have, six will live. Okay, the text will. Number two, will. Number three is starting. Number four, uh, perdón, perdón, perdón. Yes, I, I start again. Will, will is starting. Uh, gets up. Wait, because I'm checking. Uh, number three is starts. Yes, okay. Uh, will, number two, will, number three, the class start, starts at blah, blah, blah. Get up. Then, uh... Number six will go. Number seven will probably go. Number, no, I haven't. I will get, I will get information. I will look on the internet. I will have then, and I think I will play football. I will definitely play, okay? The thing is that my copy is not very clear. I'm sorry that it takes me more time. Yes, okay, okay, McCain. Good, so shall we go now to page, um, wait a minute, we have 
17, 18, 19, 23, 24, 25, todas las 20, 23, 24, 25, and 26, yes, 23, 23, there we go, has ever been, number two, had to hand in your homework on, Number three, I have had. Number four, us. Number five, were sent. Number six, is in order not to. Number seven, she was. Number eight, used to play. Twenty-four. Lives. Will continue. Is staying. Number five, I think. Number six is going. Number seven, answer it. Number eight is going to be sick. Number um, nine, go. Number ten, are getting. Exercise two, solar. Two, have. Three, B. Four, A. Five, account. F five, B. Six, C. Seven, A. 8A, 9C, 10A. Let's go to exercise 3. What time does the train arrive? Can I ask what kind of film it is? Yes. Can I ask you what your favorite kind of film is? Can I ask you what your favorite kind of film is? Esta es una pregunta indirecta, eh? Uh, what time does the train arrive? I want to know, or I would like to know, what time the train arrives, yes, okay? Ojo a las preguntas indirectas que lo hemos practicado mucho en cuarto, Yes, in tercero, in third and fourth year, third and fourth year, uh, the order. Yes, I'd like to know what the time is. W, sujeto, verbo. Ahí no lleva W auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. Ojo, eh. Así que este fue esa corrección. Uh, how many people? Ba, 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 ba. Number uh, 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 four, three. How many people uh, I think it's uh, how many people went how many people went to Astrid's party? Yes, how many people went to Astrid's party? Could you mind telling? Could you mind telling? Okay. Um, I also like to know if you would like coffee. Otra vez, una indirect question. I would like to know if you like coffee. Yes. Would you like coffee? Es una pregunta directa. But this is una pregunta indirecta, ¿yes? Para aquellos que no lo recuerdan. Esta es la directa. Would you like coffee? I'd like to know if you Yes? Is it clear? Y si acá te preguntaba, did you like coffee? If you liked, 
el verbo conjugado en el tiempo que le queda. ¿Está? Entonces, eso es lo que corregimos aquí. All right. Um, could you tell me where the nearest post office is? Yes. Um, who did you tell my secret to? Ojo ahí, eh. Si yo digo, who told you my secret, ¿quién te dijo? Yeah. Who did you tell my secret to? ¿A quién le dijiste mi secreto? Entonces ahí se va a llevar W más auxiliar, más sujeto, más verbo. Porque yo estoy preguntando sobre el sujeto. Y acá, who told you? ¿Quién te dijo? Directamente el verbo. ¿Está? Who did you tell my secret to? ¿Está? ¿Es clear? Ojo ahí, aclaro para que no haya dudas. Just in case. Las posibles dudas que se dan con estos temas. Uh, are you interested in coming with us tomorrow? Acá viene el, el ejemplo del who que di recién. Who took my new CD out of my bag? Ok. Uh, I always write things in my diary so as not to forget. Number two. She put her alarm clock on so that blah, blah, blah. Three. I borrow CDs from my friends so as to save money. Four. Uh, we, book our holiday, we booked our holidays early in order to... Five. Okay, you, you have in order to, so that. Yes, okay. I prepare my plans uh, in advance so that um, your classes can be on time. I prepared, the same sentence, my, my plans in order to have everything prepared. Yes, okay? If you use so that, you must have sujeto más verbo. Yes? Okay, a study for the exam so that you can pass the exam. I study for the exam in order to pass. Is it clear? Good. Eso es lo que practicamos aquí. Uh, I bought my mobile. Uh, well, we took my, we took our own food and drinks so that, yes, I bought a mobile in order to, seven. I invited the whole class in order to, in order not to. And I have cold, I have a cold shower every morning so that I feel more awake. Las personas que no hagan las actividades del cuadernillo a conciencia, cuando estemos corrigiendo, no van a entender nada porque van a estar perdidos. Entonces, esto es algo que tenés que sentarte a hacer, analizarlo, buscarle la vuelta, ¿sí? No así al voleo, ¿eh? ¿Está? Alice, come on. Uh, was turning, disappeared, Finished, thought, notice, page 25. Haven't seen, was opening, have ever seen, wondered. How did it go? Okay, vamos a la parte de las 30. 33, 34. 1. Was sleep past simple, past continuous, past perfect, or past perfect continuous. Be careful here. Was living, was chopping, ojo chopping, double P, tenemos la seguidilla de consonante, vocal, duplico la consonante, ¿está? Sabemos que uh, la H es una consonante, la O es una vocal, después viene una P que es una consonante, seguidilla de... Consonante, vocal, duplico la consonante. Esto ya en quinto año, ya más que es obviously, you know. Stopped, number three. Number four was saying. Number five was working. Number six saw. Number uh, seven was chatting. Number eight hadn't flown. Number nine did you know. Number ten prepared. Number eleven hadn't realized. Number twelve was thinking. 
used to or be used to. She used to get the bus. She didn't used to. Ojo, cuando está el didn't, el verbo va sin s. El verbo use va sin de, perdón. She didn't used to walk to school. She used to eat meat. She didn't used to eat a lot. She used to watch TV. She didn't used to play. Bla, bla, bla. Andy, number one. El de abajo, eh? He is used to working. He has to get used to working. He is used to traveling. He has, se ha tenido que adaptar, se ha adaptado, perdón, se ha adaptado. He ha, o se tiene que adaptar. He has to get used to working, se tiene que adaptar. He is used to working, number five. And six, he has to get used to having only two weeks holiday. ¿Está? Entonces acá hacíamos la que solía. Yes, I used to work for uh, 10 hours. Now, I have to get used to working for 20 hours. Yes, is it clear? I used to work on my own. Now, I have to get used to work in groups, working. I have to get used to working uh, um, in a team. Yes, okay, with other colleagues, for example. Yes, okay, seguidilla de 67 y 90, vamos. 76, ya no vamos a la casa. 76, 76, 76. I am used to, uh, I used to, last year, the year before, I used to um, put some clip, clips, yes, for not wasting time, for not to waste time in finding uh, the pages. I will do it again for next class. Okay, uh, 66, okay, more more, three, as quickly as, four, less, five, more, six, earlier, seven, faster, eight, more, nine, more, ten, better, ninety, page ninety. Page ninety. First, second, and third conditional. Para vos, Martin, conditional. Ok? Well, um, igualmente, en general no tienen problemas con conditional. First, second, yes, and third. Yes? Bueno, con el third es por el que se complica un poquitito más. But first, present, present. Uh, zero, present, present. First, if, present, will. Second, if, past, would, infinitive. And third, if past perfect would have past participle, la tercera columna. Ok, number two. Don't tell, will regret. Came round, would see. Four. Happens, we lose. Five. Would have, if I had. Acordate que siempre... Todo lo del if, a ver, voy a explicar de nuevo esta parte, eh, ya lo tienen visto, if más, tenemos condicional 0, 1, 2, and 3. El if siempre va a estar pegado más, present, present, past, past perfect. Tenemos más present, más will, más would, más infinitive, más past perfect, más would, have, más tercera columna, más pongo, ya sabemos que es el past participle. ¿Está? Entonces, esto no se puede despegar de esto. ¿Está? Ya sea que esto esté aquí y esto esté atrás. ¿Se entiende? Lo que siempre explico en clase, vuelvo a enfatizar. Puede estar acá, esta parte. She uh, is happy. She is happy. A esto me refiero. She is happy. Y el if, la parte del if, de if clause, puede estar acá. Pero nunca se... If she uh, studies. If she passes her exam. 
¿Ok? Doy este ejemplo. She will be happy. Y acá me refiero if, o sea, el if puede estar at the beginning o at the end. At the end of the sentence, cambiado. Pero no se puede nunca despegar del de el tiempo verbal que va al lado del if. Está en este caso present, in this case, present, present, past, past perfect. ¿Está? Porque a veces nos tendemos a mezclar, a mezclar sometimes, it is confusing, yes, and, oh my God, what, what goes here, yes, okay, so just in case she will be happy if she studies, if she passes her exam. Lo mismo acá, she would be happy if she passed her exam. Porque a veces como tenemos dado vuelta, queremos, que, queremos poner... She, uh, what, she mm, would, if she would be happy, she passed her exam. Queremos mezclar los tiempos y no. Acuérdate que esto no se puede despegar. Va juntito, juntito, juntito. ¿Es it clear? Yes? Bueno. A esta altura ya los condicionales ya los tenés Súper, la gramática súper grabada. Yes, ok. Number, param, param, ¿dónde me quedé? Bueno, four. Happens, we lose. Five, would, help, had. Six, loses, will. Seven, hadn't gone, would have met, would have never met. Uh, where, would use, gets, will be. Would have been happened. Yes, okay. It would have been a disaster if. Wait a minute. Fortunately, the explosion took place at a night at night where the streets were empty. It would have been a disaster if it had happened. If it had happened in the middle of the day. ¿Está? Entonces tenemos la, la segunda parte, would have been, y después del if, que sería el condicional 3, tenemos el past participle. Por eso me quedé ahí para corregir. ¿Yes? Si hubiera pasado. ¿Ok? Así que eso a controlar. Bye, bye, cuadernillo. ¿Yes? ¿Qué tal le fue? Me dejan un mensajito cuando me dejan las composiciones, por favor, o la próxima cuando me dejan otra actividad. Hoy no hay, bueno, hay composición. Cuando me dejen la composición 18, ¿yes? Atención porque voy a tener en cuenta quién está viendo realmente tranquilamente las clases. Porque cuando yo digo algo en la clase o doy algún, alguna cosa que quiero que me vayan, me voy fijando y digo, la gente que no vio la clase no me contestó lo que le pedí. Entonces, cuando me contesten, cuando me pongan la clase que viene el 30, la de composition number 18, I want you to leave me a message and say, Teacher Ruth, I was okay, I was bad, I was regular, I, I was quite good, yes, in the cuadernillo. Quiero que me dejen lo, el feedback de cómo le fue con el cuadernillo. ¿Está? ¿Y eso no? ¿Yes? Ok. Entonces, eso es el task, aparte de la tarea, de acá, dejarme un mensajito cortito, a text message ahí en el, en el classroom. How did it go? How are you feeling? with the cuadernillo, because this was the first part, the first pages, activities from the cuadernillo, okay? Shall we go to pages 93, 94, and 95 from the um, class book? 93, 94, and 95. 93, 94, and 95. And it says, uh, describe different items your partner, well, okay. So, at home, because I have prepared a short activity, but it could be the first activity. Oh, no, it's not here. Okay, it's here. Okay, I will describe, because this is one of the activities I have to do here. I will describe um, something, and I will use this structure. I use it for mass ING. <clears throat> plus ing or I use it to mass infinitive
positivo, ¿ok? Is it clear? Vos practicalo en casa también, yo no voy a poder adivinar, pero en esta es para hacerlo más interactivo, dale. <coughs> you guess at home, y después decir, oh yes, I guess, no, no, I didn't. Bueno, lo voy a poner acá porque eh, si no me van a, you are going to cheat, ¿ok? Well, I use it for drinking water, I use it to drink uh, milk, I use it to uh, drink uh, Fanta, I use it for drinking uh, oranges, what's that? A cup? No. What's that? Oh yes, okay, let me, okay, it's a glass, yes, okay, well, <clears throat> I use it for doing my, ah no, I use it for uh, putting all uh, my data, uh, I use it for working, I use it for chatting, I use, in, I use it to communicate with my family, I use it for correcting uh, the compositions and all the activities in the classroom, in the Google Classroom. I use it to uh, write my plans. What's that? A paper? No, it's not a paper. What's that? Yes, it is a machine. It is an electronic machine. No, it is not a phone. No, 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 no. What? Repeat, pardon? No, 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 it's not a tablet. Oh, yes, it's a PC. Yes, all right. <coughs> Good. I use it to do my homework. I use it to write my homework on it. I use it to write uh, my exercises of math. I use it to uh, um, do my homework, my school homework. Okay, what's that? Oh yes, it is a notebook. It is a notebook. Okay, well I have another one. Okay, I use it for listening to music. I use it for listening to music. I use it to listen to music. I use it for listening to the news. I use it to, um, what? To music, to listen to music. What's that? Oh yes, that's great. That's a radio, a radio. The last one, okay. I use it to look up words in the dictionary. I use it for looking up words <laughs> yes, okay, I'm sorry. I use it, uh, yes, start again. I use it for looking up words. I use it to look up words, okay? Well, of course, uh, it's a dictionary, yeah? Okay, I'm sorry. Well, so uh, it is a very um, simple exercise, but um, is to explain, yes, to practice the four plus ing and to infinity. Is it clear? Well, so let's, that was the, the exercise number one. Okay, is it clear? Well, espero que hayan adivinado en casa. Yes, I hope that you can guess. Yes, <coughs> you could have guessed. Yes, okay. Well, so can we go to uh, pick up exercise number two from page 93? Yes, okay. And it says the picture show people learning uh, through technology. So you have to compare the pictures and say how useful this way of learning might be uh, for the people. Yes, okay. So uh, remember to use, um, it's a, look for some uh, material here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait.
okay? Well, so remember to use uh, at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left, in the middle, in the foreground, in the background. Well, we can say here in the picture at the top, in the picture at the bottom. Yes, okay. Well, okay. In the picture at the top, I want you to describe at home. In the picture at the top, I can see what? A boy, who? A boy that is learning, yes, and he's at school and he's touching a screen, yes, or the screen of a tablet. And uh, in the, he's alone, yes, I can see in the background, I can see a boy that is sitting Yes, but I think uh, the way of learning in the, in the picture at the top uh, is better than in the picture at the uh, bottom. Why? Because I think uh, he's, um, he's been um, helped by a teacher. Yes, uh, he's been assisted by a teacher and I suppose there are two teachers working, one with the rest of the student and one with the student that is with the, um, with the uh, computer, with the, um, yes, it, it went, yes, from my mind. I have already said that, yes, okay. Um, I want to say laptop, but it is a pan, yes, okay. Well, eh, well, it's a kind of, uh, se me fue de la mente el nombre, chicos, perdonen. On the other, it will come, yes, okay? Um, tablet, yes, okay. I, already, I have already said, but I was thinking about the picture, yes. Well. Wait, please. Be patient. It doesn't matter. Um, well, uh, on the picture at the bottom, yes, in the picture at the bottom, I can see uh, one teacher 
and I think it is at university. Uh, and there are a lot of students, yes, and all of them are using a computer, yes. So I think, yes, um, this is a good way of learning, yes, because using uh, a tool like the computer is very useful nowadays, yes. And what I have noticed is that many people, yes, um don't know how to use the different uh applications if i can say application in the phone and uh for example how to attach a document how to um, um send a pdf yes and i have noticed this yes the lack of uh, knowledge in technology because sometimes we know that okay we think that we know everything but uh, what I have noticed in this period the, in the first period of the classes is that many people didn't know the basic things you need to know to work uh, online for example yes okay so we are going to listen to Sarah talk about the photos and we are going to check our ideas remember that when I talk you have to talk at home about the two pictures. Describe the two pictures, okay? Is it clear? So let's go. I was looking for a, um, a folder here. Yes, because I wanted to show you one picture that I haven't prepared for today, but I knew I had it and it came uh, to my mind, but maybe it is in the other computer. I'm sorry, I wasted uh, a little time. Yes, okay. Well. So let's go. We're going to do exercises three and four, okay? With the same listening, all right? Unit nine, speaking focus, activity three. Well, both pictures show people in situations where they are learning. In the first picture, the young boy is in class and he's using, uh, sorry, I don't know the word, it's a sort of computer. The boy touches the, um, uh, what is it, uh, ah yes, the screen to change the words and things. I think he's doing some maths, some, what do you call them, where you add up numbers and find the answers. He's quite young, about nine I suppose. Whereas in the second picture, the students look older and they're listening to one teacher in a... Uh, I can't remember the exact word. It's a big room for lots of students. The teacher is using a... Mm, oh, sorry, it's gone. It's a thing you use to show pictures on the board to teach the students about something. Although it isn't very clear what it is. Both methods are really useful particularly for the young boy, because he can work at his own speed. Okay. I will play it again, so you can do the next Unit one. Unit 9. Yes. Speaking focus. Exercise Activity four. 3. Well, both pictures show people in situations where they are learning. In the first picture, the young boy is in class, and he's using... Uh, sorry, I don't know the word. It's a sort of computer. The boy touches the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, ah, yes, the screen to change the words and things. I think he's doing some maths, some, what do you call them, where you add up numbers and find the answers. He's quite young, about nine, I suppose. Whereas in the second picture, the students look older and they're listening to one teacher in a, uh, I can't remember the exact word, it's a big room for lots of students. The teacher is using a, mm, oh, sorry it's gone, it's the thing you use to show pictures on the board to teach the students about something, although it isn't very clear what it is. Both methods are really useful, particularly for the young boy, because he can work at his own speed.
ok? Well, so number one we have no, a sort of, yes? Here uh, she uses what we have uh, practiced before. You use it when you don't know and the word is gone, yes? Okay, you have to say it's a sort of, uh, you know, um, yes, okay? Number two, what or and the structure to infinitive, you use it to, you use it for plus ing. Number two, what, number three, call, number four, exact, number five, gone, and number six, thing. Can we go to page 94? Okay, so you will go to page 94. And you will look at the photos, you will describe the picture at the top and the picture at the bottom. Are you good at doing several things at the same time? Yes? Uh, are you good at doing many things at the same time? Are you a multitasking person? Multitasking person, yes, okay. Are you good at doing many things at the same time? Yes, okay. Do you think it is good to do the, uh, many things at the same time? So, I want you to describe the picture at the top and the picture at the bottom, yes, okay. And tell me, yes, okay, which one do you prefer and why? Esto lo haces siempre en casa, no lo deje de hacer, por favor, yes, okay. In the picture at the top, there is a woman that is a girl, uh, not a girl, but a woman that is um, texting. She's working with three computers at the same time. She's also drinking some, is about to drink some coffee. Yes, and she also has a red towel, tablet. Um, so I think she will also use it. On the other side, uh, in the picture at the bottom, there is a boy and he's doing many things, I think, at the same time because uh, I can see part of a computer, he's texting and maybe he's listening to music. And the thing is, are you good at doing the same, many things at the same time? Do you think it is good to do many things at the same time? So this is the question and I want your answers, okay? So, um, very quickly, very quickly, do you think uh, only you teenagers or young people can do many things at the same time? Or you need to focus only on one thing and prepare your brain for this thing, thing and you can't, do, you can't do other things, yes? So think about it. But now I want you to read the text and tell me how does the woman react to the new information she learns, okay? Uh, now is the time that you will pause the video, you will work with pages 94 and 95 and I want you to highlight all these words in the text, yes, and put these words in your vocabulary list. The words that are highlighted, underlined, you need to highlight them again. Yes, <clears throat> we are going to do exercises two, three, four. Two, three, and four, okay? Now is the time I continue with the answers and you pause the video, okay? Well, so she's surprised to discover that the brain is still developing until the age of 25 or 30 and thinks she will affect how, sorry, and thinks this will affect how we deal with teenagers in the future. Three, one, C, two, D, three, A, 4D, 
5C, 6D. No salten los readings. Because if you skip the reading, you will have problem, problems in the reading skill. Yes? Poco a poco. No son muchas páginas, no son muchos texto, textos, así que tómense el tiempo. Una cosa que quiero que hagan al finalizar siempre de leer cada texto es que expliquen, that you explain the text, what is it about, yes? Because that would be the question that I would make, make if you were here, yes? Okay, so concentrate, explain what If you can't explain all the text, yes, go paragraph by paragraph, yes, it will help you, yes, to use new vocabulary, it, it will help you in, re, in uh, getting better in the reading skills, yes, okay? Well, so we have the words, okay, number four, commit crimes, electrodes, cells, mature, implications, six, guess, work, neurologists, Eight negative. And in exercise five, yes, you have to read the final paragraph of the article again, and you have to say what sort of changes do you think will happen. Experts know a huge amount about the teenage brain now, and this will have an important effect on how teenagers are treated in the future. There are a lot of implications. Teaching methods might change. There, there might even be changes in the way teenagers, uh, in the way teenagers who commit crimes are treated. Yes, do you think people who commit crime are well treated? Do you think they should be well treated? Yes. What is happening nowadays that uh, young offenders? Yes, okay, commit different crimes, kill people, and nothing happens. So, when we come back, you are going to talk about this, and you are going to tell me what you think, because you are a teenager, yes, so I need to know, yes, what you think, yes. Uh, it should certainly improve the way, improve the way doctors and psychologists help teenagers with social or behavioral problems. And it is worth remembering here that we are not only talking about teenagers, but even people up to 30 of age. As I am only 26, myself, this information could become, could come in quite useful. The next time my boyfriend complains that I don't understand him, I just say, I can just say, sorry, it's my brain, it's still developing. Did you know that uh, your brain can't develop until the age of 30? Maybe I knew it, but it, it was gone. But when I read again, because you know, I read all the texts again, because uh, you know, I have already given this book to other students before, but then I forget about the text because I need to uh, put some other information in my brain. Yeah, so I take other uh, sort of information I remove yes but I completely forgot yes so um, well so uh, it's very interesting and it might be useful useful for you so read read yes and try to um, um, and try to uh, put yes all the information all the necessary information in your brain so you'll be, you will be more intelligent because you have time until the age of 30 yes okay well uh quadernillo composition number 18 and i spent a good time with you yes because i imagine that you are here that you enjoy the classes exam my pages 56 and 57 plus your message i want the feedback feedback yes i want to know what about holidays i want to know how did it go in the correction of the quadernillo bye bye see you next class